Oh, I love to see the kids swim. Watch them dive. Well, my name is Maisie L. DeFour, and I was born in Eskridge, Kansas. I'll be 91 in January. It's just a small town. I had two young children, and uh, they didn't have anything but a ball program. Well, my son was interested in ball, but my daughter wasn't. And it's the same way with lots of children. I just decided that the kids needed something besides a ball team. I thought, well, I'll just start picking up some cans and see how it turns out. So that's really all I thought about it, was just a way of raising some money. And I started walking around the square, a square mile. In the evening, I would walk and pick up cans. I just put the money in the bank. And I, I just really didn't think about much. My interest was in getting cans. They call me the can lady. <laughs> I've, I've had a lot of help, and I've had discouragers too, but I guess it goes that way with it, whatever you undertake. Some people are for it and some are against it. The city said, well, you, you'll never get a pool, and if you do, you can't support it. So shows them they were wrong. <laughs> we raised $73,000 towards the pool. Then Laura Kelly, a senator, helped us get a grant for the rest of it. And then they came up with this piece of land, and it, it's nice. It's got lots of room. It's right across from my house, and people told me it would just drive me nuts, the noise. I said, oh, no, it doesn't. I can sit out here and, walk, and mash cans and see them swimming over there. <laughs> And a lot of people wouldn't want to mess with saving cans for somebody. <laughs> but then they all got into the spirit of it and, were, and seemed to be glad to do it. I usually have to go twice in my car, and I'll have the trunk full and all you can get in the back seat. And sometimes I have some in the front seat with me. I'm, I'm just happy that we've got it. The noise doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> Don't do any good to get him out, Kelsey. <laughs> I like to hear kids hollering and make a noise. There's something wrong if they aren't. <laughs> it's not normal for kids to be quiet. <laughs> So that's the reason I got highway signs named after me, because I've walked miles and miles and miles of number four highway. It's been 40 plus years. You just have to never give up. If you lose sight of your dream, you're sunk. But if you keep that in mind, and are really determined to reach a goal, I, I think you could do it one way or another. There are other ways, but I chose the can way to go. <laughs>